Dub Magazine Project. Shout out to The Dub Magazine Project. Family means the most to me. Ride shotgun with the stars. I'm the biggest boss in this business. Find out what they drive. I came from nothing to something in Miami, for real. And what drives them? It's not about me. At no time is it really about me. Hey, it's your girl, Amber Rose. What's up? This your boy, Terry Kennedy and Paul Regas. And you're watching the Dub Magazine Project. Yeah. Welcome back to the Dub Magazine Project. Sometimes in life, there's Busy, and then there's Nick Cannon. Well, we caught up with Mr. Showbiz and found out about his schedule, his management style, and Mariah's influence on his work. Let's have a look. It's not what people call you. It's what you respond to. My parents birthed a hustler. They call me Nick Cannon. AKA Mr. Showbiz. Passionate, ambitious, and uh, busy. <laughs> they had a life in the can. It's a, it's a long day. The record they need is they need that don't you, like the Pussycat Dolls had. That's what they need. Uh, you gotta give me like two minutes. <laughs> Angie, what's good? I appreciate everything. And you know, I had to send you a personal shout out. That's how we do. All about work. I try to sleep at least four hours throughout the day. So if it's two hours here, hour here, hour there. What's the dance agency? Tell them we need Nick's number. And I'll sleep when I'm dead. All right, I'll be back. Hurt. When I was a kid, thinking about what I was going to be when I was older. It, it wasn't nothing specific. I, I loved comedy. I wanted to be a comic. I wanted to be Eddie Murphy. I wanted to be a rapper. I wanted to be, you know, LL Cool J and Denzel. I was brought up in a very unorthodox way. Uh, my parents were in high school when they had me, so my grandmother raised me. But it was, it was healthy in the sense that I had a lot of people who loved me in different environments, but at the same time, it wasn't easy either, you know? Section 8, welfare, I'm a product of all of that. Right now, my greatest inspiration is my family. It's a beautiful thing. It's more than I could ever ask for in life. I owe them everything. Everything that I do is for them. My wife is the funniest person in the world. Mariah Carey has the greatest sense of humor ever. People don't understand it, but she is hilarious. She's the best punch-up rider I've ever met. Like, I've test all my jokes out on her. She knows her <laughs> Just love entertainment. And um, whether I can do it, whether it's rocking a crowd, whether it's DJing, whether it's telling a joke, whether it's performing in a film or on a television show, that's just my life. That's how I get it. No, real talk. That's what I'm going to talk to y'all about. But what y'all not tapping into is what y'all organically have. You guys got a name already. You already have fans. So you need a hit record. You know what I mean? Like, even when Teach Me How to Dougie came out, y'all have the ability to create that type of movement. And I try to inspire and instill that in a lot of young people that you got to be a self-generator. You can't sit around and wait for somebody to bring you an opportunity. You got to make your own opportunity. All y'all records should be about chicks in the club. What should it feel like? As soon as you hear it, you're trying to dance to you. I'm like, OK, this, this track is going. When somebody see on they flying or the Rangers going to be there that night, they should know y'all bringing all the girls to the party. <laughs> it's not about just what Nick can do, but it's like I got to lay a foundation for others to come after me. Turn the music on, some new incredible records. And the Rangers, myself. I haven't had that epiphany or that aha moment, as they call it. That, oh, I've made it. I'm here. I've done it. I got so much more to do. I feel like I'm just now laying the foundation of what my career is supposed to be. At, at one point, I'll probably step back and, and look at it and, you know, have a retrospective moment. It's, it's all about what you respond to in life. I've taken that and ran with it for you know a long way to make sure one day they're gonna call me the best. 